Hello everyone, welcome to Locking's Pick of the Week. My name is Chakrez, and each week we'll be highlighting a champion that we think is really strong in the current meta, whether its popularity comes from ranked games, competitive play, or even both. Today we take a look at Kog'Maw, played in the bot lane, as an AD carry. Kog'Maw was quickly dismissed as a very poor champion during the preseason, but a combination of consecutive buffs to his kit, masteries like Fervor of Battle, and having a strong itemization path with items like Rage Blade and Rune on Hurricane have catapulted him into viability again, reaching one of the highest rune rates in the game right now. Let's start with his setup. For runes, you want to run Attack Damage Marks, Armor Seals, Magic Resistance Glyphs, and Attack Speed Quintessences. This is the standard AD carry setup, and Kog'Maw is really no different. You can opt for some extra attack speed glyphs over the magic resistance, but overall they're not 100% needed, and the magic resistance means you're a bit less squishy than you otherwise would be. For masteries, you want to run 18-12-0, and your keystone mastery should be always Fervor of Battle. It's a fantastic keystone for Kog'Maw, as he can stack it up extremely fast with his bio in barrage and his attack speed oriented build. Kog'Maw's skill order right now is quite unique. While you can take a point on your Caustic Spittle early on, the fact that its passive was moved to buy Arcane Barrage on patch 6.3 means you can entirely forego points in it early and only max W and E instead. Overall, Kog'Maw should be maxing his Bio Arcane Barrage first as it increases his range, reduces the cooldown on it by quite a lot and increases its attack speed. Void Ooze should be maxed second as the base damage on it goes up quite a bit and the slow percentage increases with rank. Onto his item build, you want to start with Doran's Blade and a Potion, as you would do with any AD carry. Your core items, however, are very different from any other AD carry in the current meta. Your first item should be Ginsu's Rage Blade. The reason why it's so good on Kog'Maw is because unlike any other AD carry, you can stack it up to 8 times insanely fast with your Bio Arcane Barrage. From there, you should look to pick up Brunon's Hurricane as your second item, as the extra attack speed complements your build nicely and helps you stack Fervor and Rage Blade faster. As for Boots, you should be looking to pick up Boots of Swiftness in most occasions. While Berserker's Greaves are still a good option, you'll usually already have enough attack speed in your kit and your build, so the extra movement speed on Swifties helps when you're on such a immobile carry. Your premier lifesteal item should be Blade of the Rune King, as it's another item with natural synergy with your kit, and as you want to stack a lot of attack speed for your Rage Blade and Forever stacks, not to mention the percentage maximum health on by Arcane Barrage. However, you will sometimes feel the need you need the extra survivability, so the Bloodthirster is a good alternative. The rest of your build will depend on the enemy team. If you need magic resistance and a cleanse, your best option is Mercurial Scimitar, but Wit's End and Maw of Malmartius are other MR options you can go for. Other than that, Sterex is a fantastic defensive option if you feel like you're being bursted too fast. Now that we've looked at Kog'Maw's setup, let's talk a bit about how he works in different stages of the game. In lane, Kog'Maw is pretty average. He's not the worst, but he isn't the best either. It's the point in the game where you have to play really safe because a good team will look to shut you down heavily before you reach your two core items. Fervor of Battle is definitely a plus, and with Byark and Barrage, you can stack it up fast and ensure you can trade well in the laning phase. As for your lane partners, you should look to pair Kog'Maw with the more defensive sustained supports. Anything that can peel for Kog'Maw and keep him alive is a great pick, so champions like Soraka, Nami, and Janna go really well with Kog'Maw as they can stay close to him during fights and trades and make sure he doesn't die. Other than that, Morgana is also a decent pairing, since Black Shield can block incoming crowd control and a good Dark Binding can lead to a kill. The tankier supports like Alistair and Braum can also work well with Kog'Maw. In lane, Alistair can keep his AD carry healthy with Triumphant Roar and peel for him with Headbutt and Pulverize, and Braum's passive is incredible with Kog'Maw, as with all his attack speed he can instantly proc it and stun a target, while Unbreakable and Stand Behind Me are excellent abilities to keep him safe. Your trading potential in lane increases a lot by level 6 when you unlock Living Artillery as you can start poking down opponents before going in for a trade. Just keep in mind that the mana cost on the ultimate goes up, so it's important to not use it too frequently. As for teamfights, you should start looking to group up when you're already at your two core items and at least around level 11, which is when you have rank 2 on your living artillery, since the range on it goes up by quite a bit. You should use the massive range you have on living artillery to poke down targets when fighting over objectives, like a turret or a dragon. When the real fight breaks out, you should make sure you're close to whoever can peel for you and keep doing damage to the opponent closest to you. 
You shred tanks pretty fast, so no one's going to be too tanky for you to kill. But you're very squishy, so it's important to not go too aggressive and try to go for the enemy backline and expose yourself. If you have someone jumping on you, use your Voidus and Blade of the Rune King active, if you have it, to kite back and try to kill them before they kill you. This is why it's important to be close to your teammates so they can help peel for you and make sure you don't need to do all the work yourself. To finish, let's go for some tips. And Kog'Maw doesn't really have any special tips. The biggest one I can give is to know how to use Living Artillery. Once you hit level 6, you want to start using it in lane immediately. It will take practice to get used to hitting it, but you want to use it when the enemy AD carry is going for a last hit on a minion. They'll be stationary for a brief moan, and this is when you can easily hit them. Other than that, knowing how to manage your mana cost is key. In the early stages of the game, you should never go beyond two consecutive ultimate, as the mana cost for the third will be 120 mana. Ideally, you should keep it at one at all times, so it only costs 40 mana. In teamfights, you can use it a bit more often, but again, remember the mana costs go up very fast, so try not to go past many consecutive uses unless you happen to have a blue buff or know that it's the ultimate you'll need to finish off the last target in the fight. That's going to be all for this week. If you enjoyed this week's video, be sure to leave a like and leave a comment telling us what champion you'd like to see next.